Hello and welcome to Lila Licious. My name is Regina and today I am going to show you how to make healthy zucchini bread made with coconut flour. This zucchini quick bread is gluten-free, paleo-friendly, and depending on the sweetener that you use, you can also make it low-carb or keto-friendly. Let's get started with the zucchini. We need about two small ones. Start by cutting off the ends, and then grate the zucchini on the coarse side of a box grater. The next step is optional. If you want, you can squeeze the grated zucchini in a cheesecloth or a clean kitchen towel to remove some of the excess water. But I've also made this recipe with just grated zucchini and it works as well because coconut flour is just so absorbent it can handle this extra water. Put the zucchini aside for now while we continue with the rest of the batter. Crack three eggs into a bowl. To that add one third cup of sweetener of your choice. I'm using honey here, you can also use maple syrup or a sugar-free liquid sweetener. Next, add one third cup of nut or seed butter. I'm using peanut butter. You can also use almond butter, sunflower seed butter, or tahini. Pour in one quarter cup of melted coconut oil and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that is it for the liquid ingredients. Combine them with a whisk or hand mixer until they are uniformly combined. And now we are adding the dry ingredients on top. First up, three quarter cup of coconut flour then one quarter cup of flax meal, two teaspoons of baking powder as raisin agent for our loaf, and then for flavorings, one teaspoon of cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice and half a teaspoon of salt. Now stir the batter to combine the dry and wet ingredients. Now finally add the grated zucchini. It's about one and a half packed cups, whether it's squeezed or not, and three quarter cup of your favorite add-ins. You can use pumpkin seeds, nuts, chocolate chips, totally up to you. Fold these add-ins into the batter until evenly distributed. Now prepare a loaf pan by lining it with parchment paper. I find it works best if I use a long thin strip to cover the length of the pan and a short wide strip to cover the width. Add the batter into the pan and spread the tops to even it out. I'm adding some pecans on top here. You can also add chocolate chips pumpkin seeds, whatever add-ins you had, you can also sprinkle a few on top. Now bake the zucchini loaf in an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 to 60 minutes. The loaf will be done when a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Another way to tell if it's done is by pressing the tops and if it springs right back, you know the loaf is done. If an indentation stays, you know you need to bake it a little bit longer. Remove the baked loaf from the oven and let it cool in the pan for about half an hour to let it set up. After that, you can invert it into a cooling rack, remove the pan and parchment paper, and let the loaf cool completely like that. Now the cooled loaf is ready to slice and enjoy. Personally, I love this zucchini bread best by toasting a slice and spreading a thin layer of nut butter on top. This healthy zucchini loaf lasts about two to three days at room temperature on the counter, about a week in the fridge. You can also wrap up the loaf airtight and store it in the freezer for several months. And there we go, healthy zucchini bread made with coconut flour. Thank you so much for watching and baking along. Please like and share this video, subscribe for more recipe content, and I will see you again soon with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.